Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this What Is Wednesday, we're going to be talking about the DOM. What is the DOM? D-O-M. Now, DOM itself is an acronym standing for the Document Object Model. Now, this might seem like it is self-explanatory about the name that it's an object model, but the DOM itself is basically the structure of your website, and that's organized in a document object structure. So if we were to inspect the element on any page, particularly this developer.mozilla.org, this introduction to the DOM is a really great read if you want some more information here. You'll, you'll see that the inspector tab or the elements tab will show the HTML over here. And this isn't the HTML of our page, but it also isn't the DOM, despite people saying that this is the DOM typically. This right here is an HTML representation of the DOM, as in this is refigured to make this look like HTML, even though this is the actual, the current DOM structure that's on your page. Now that's different from doing a view source, and this is straight up HTML. So what happens here is the browser gets HTML, it parses it, and it turns it into an object. And that object is the structure of your site. And the reason why this is important because the DOM includes things that are just beyond here's an element and here's its children. Each one of these elements that you see here is going to be an element. So in the document object model, there is the document, which is the document. There is a node. There are nodes, which every object located within a document is some kind of node. And then there are elements where you create them with document.create element. If you're used to writing JavaScript without a front end framework, then you're going to be creating a lot of elements, right? There's node lists, um, attributes, all sorts of stuff. But what's neat about the DOM is that the DOM, again, each one of these elements, nodes, whatever, they have a whole bunch of JavaScript properties and default APIs that allows you to interact with them. Things like element.innerHTML, element.style, element.setAttribute, element.get. And you've used quite a bit of these if you've ever used document.querySelectorAll. It's for finding things within the DOM. That's saying, hey, document, go find me all of these things. And again, keep in mind that we often think about HTML and the DOM as being this very HTML visual. But if you think about it more in a JavaScript object perspective, where we have a, let's say a property like document, and then we have a query selector, uh, this is a method on that document that is calling things within that document. And it does feel very much like a big old JavaScript object. And one of the easiest ways to even illustrate that is to take something like this. And we have any of these, these elements here, we can click use in console. And I hit enter here. And what you do see is again, it's a HTML representation. And let me bump this up. And they showed to you like this so that it looks a little bit, you know, happier on the eyes. But if we open this thing up, what you do see it is a JavaScript object where we have properties that exist. And all of these properties have the ability to um, see what's in them or run methods on them. And in more than just all of these properties, there's a prototype with even more properties and methods. Um, and likewise, there's all sorts of stuff in here. But this right here is one element from the DOM. So when people often refer to the DOM, they're talking about the website, the current status of how the browser has interpreted the website and how it's rendering that website. So when you work with front end frameworks or JavaScript in general, you have HTML that gets parsed and turned into an object. Then when you add elements to the object, you're actually adding them to this object, which is then in turn being displayed in the browser. So this big old document object model is the real source of truth at what the user is seeing at any given moment on your site. It's not HTML, but it is how the browser understands the current version of your application. So if you want some more reading on this type of thing to dive even further into what that uh, this document object model looks like, what these documents, elements, nodes, these types of things look like, head on over to developer.mozilla.org. The document object model page introduction is a great read for anybody who is interested 
in understanding how the browser actually is uh, representing the HTML that their users are viewing as the DOM. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning about a whole ton of awesome things in web development, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. You can sign up, become a Level Up Pro and get access to a new tutorial course every single month. We have some really amazing creators, including myself. I I've been producing courses uh, for the web since 2012 and have been doing a new one every single month on leveluptutorials.com. So if you're interested in learning about things like Svelte, SvelteKit, um, modern CSS design systems, web components, e-commerce on the Jamstack, all that and more, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. You can sign up today to become a Level Up Pro and save 25% off if you sign up for the year. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.